Hey guys, I'm happy that you are here. My name is Betchoy and I am your plantito from Mindanao. Tara at samahan niyo ako sa aking plant journey. To those who are new to this channel, especially sa mga hindi pa nakapag-subscribe, please click on our subscribe button and click on our bell notification for you to get the latest updates from Betchoy Vlog. And also guys, please follow me on our other social media accounts. So that's aside from YouTube, we have a Facebook page and our page is Betchoy Vlog. And we also have an Instagram and our ID is Betchoy underscore vlog. And let's talk about plants. So for our video today guys, this will be a plant haul. And we will be featuring at least 12 different plants from the family of Alocasia, Philodendron, my favorite, from Anthurium, Syngonium, and Monstera. So most of the plants that we will be featuring today are uncommon plants and rare. And to tell you honestly guys, actually isa ito sa pinaka pricey ko na plant haul lately. But I'm really happy with the purchase of these plants kasi I wasn't even thinking na makukuha ko itong mga plants na ito soon enough. So that is why I believe na isa ito sa pinakamasaya ko na plant haul ever. And I've also worked so hard para ma-acquire natin yung mga plants na ito guys. So talagang kayad kalabaw tayo magbenta ng mga halaman para makakuha tayo ng mga panibagong plants. So our very first plant for our plant haul today guys is our Philodendron Verucosum. And we have here two pots of our Verucosum. This one this is our regular form. And the other one is our dark form. And let me just put this for a while. This one, I actually believe this came from Thailand. So at this point, may napakarami na ng mga verocosum na nagsisidatingan dito sa Philippines. And I also believe that these are tissue cultured na mga plant. And a little bit of trivia lang about our verocosum na mga plants. Actually, itong philodendron na ito, this is a climbing type. So it's also characterized by this hairy like sa kanyang mga petioles. And yung pinaka highlight talaga ng ating mga verocosum is yung kanyang details na kanyang mga veins. And let me just get my other verocosum here. Especially with the dark form o itong, itong isang ito, makikita talaga natin yung details na kanyang mga veins. So let me just place our first verocosum here so that we can clearly describe our philodendron verocosum, especially this dark form. So yung ating mga verocosum, it's actually characterized by the reddish brown or the brownish underside niya. So just take a look at this one guys. So this is plainly the reason why makakakita tayo ng napaka dark na form dito sa kanyang foreground ng ating dahon. So again, ito, just take a look at the details of our petioles. It has like some hair like structures dito na same with our squamifero. So I strongly believe that ito yung nagpapakarakterize talaga ng ating verocosum, yung kanyang velvety leaves, dark form, reddish brown underside at yung kanyang mga hair-like structures dito sa kanyang petio. So let me just get our first verocosum here so that we can distinguish both of them. Actually, yung ating philodendron verocosum, it has so many different varieties in its family. So there are different forms here and this one, I believe this is the one from Thailand. And the dark form is the one from Holland. So they are both verocosum. And if you try to look at its petioles also, the one from Thailand, it has a somewhat color green a petiole. And also yung kanya mga hair-like structures, it's also color green. And for the one that is from Holland, yung kanya petiole naman, it's actually reddish brown. But still, yung kanya hair-like structures are still color green. So for this spot here, I already introduced here a moss pole kasi nag-start na siya mag-trail at also para ma-support natin at mapabilis natin yung kanyang growth. And I also decided to get two of these para meron tayong green form or yung regular form and the other one, the dark form, which I consider to be a more beautiful one. So for these two, I got them at 7,500 each, each pot. And also I got this one from a plant seller from Kidapawan City. So the next plant in our plant hall is our Anthurium Crystal Hope. And let me share with you here in a closer look para ma-appreciate natin yung ating Crystal Hope. So previously on our episode 
with our Anthurium and our Monstera. Actually, I'm kind of sad with my Crystal Hope because the one that we have left here is a small one. So I decided to get this one so that we will have a bigger Crystal Hope in our collection. And ito guys, um, a little bit of trivia lang. Yung ating Crystal Hope, it's actually characterized by its very detailed veins. So here, let me just focus it sa ating camera so that we can clearly see yung mga crystal-like structures dito. So, napaka-kapal or thick ng veins ng ating anthurium na crystal hope as compared with that of crystallinum or magnificum. Isa ito sa nagpapaganda talaga sa ating crystal hope. So, itong ating crystal hope, guys, lumalaki din itong kanyang mga dahon. And I got this one at the price of 5,500 pesos, also from Kidapawan City. And our next plant is another anthurium. And this is our anthurium clarinervium. So, ito naman, guys. Actually, it has a more detailed shape of its leaves as compared with our crystal hope. So, ito, we can see here na talagang napakaganda din ng kanyang lobes dito and yung characteristics talaga ng ating clarinarium is that yung kanyang lobe dito ay nag-overlap. So, ito yung nagpapa-unique sa ating clarinarium. And by the way, this is our dark form but this is locally grown. So, aside from the dark form, we have the regular or the green form of the clarinarium. And actually, they have the same Almost the same shape of the leaves, yung details na kanyang veins. Nakakaiba lang talaga dito sa shade ng kanyang color. So for this Clarion Nervium, I got this at the price of 4,500 from South Cotabato. And at this point guys, I think you're already familiar that meron ng napakaraming nagsisidatingan na rin ng mga tissue cultured na Clarion Nervium. And I think they are either from Holland or from Thailand. And I can remember a few months ago that when the Clarinervium arrived here in the Philippines, yung mga tissue cultured, medyo pricey pa sila that time. So for this size na merong four leaves, I think the pricing was around 9,000 to 10,000 pesos. But at this point, medyo nagiging affordable na sila. And siguro sa ganitong size, yung pricing talaga would range from between 4,000 to 5,000 pesos. And if you're still a plant beginner and you also love anthuriums, I really recommend na idagdag ninyo yung ating Clarinervium in your collection. So the next plant in our plant hall is our Epiprimnum Pinatum Aurea. So I have two pots of these, one smaller one and one bigger one. And let me just put this one aside for a while so that we can focus on this plant here, the bigger one. So actually, I decided to get two of these pots kasi nagagandahan ako sa dalawang pots na ito. And also, I'm thinking that it's for like investment as well. So sa ngayon, baka hindi pa siya masyadong maganda. May mga konting issues pa dito yung ating plants. But later on, we can just beautify it, take care of it. Para naman maps mapaganda natin siya later on. And we can most probably sell them in the future. So let me just emphasize guys that this is not our giant golden pothos. Siguro naman makikita nyo yung ating differences. Yung ating mga pinatum aurea, this is characterized by the leaves na talagang dahon siya ng ating mga tibatib or yung dragon's tail which has that narrow leaves. Yung ating mga giant pothos, they are characterized but by medyo round or medyo malapad sila. So ito, medyo narrow yung kanyang mga dahon but they still have the fenestrations same with our pothos. So ito naman guys, um, aside from the aurea variegata, we also have the Albo variegata, and let me just get my albo para ma compare natin sila. So, this is our albo variegata. So, by the name itself, albo, dapat color white din yung kanyang variegation. So, this one, this is our aurea, and they have almost the same shape of the leaves and fenestrations. So, I decided to get our pinatum aurea, guys, kasi siguro naman kayo din ano notice nyo that lately nagiging in talaga yung mga variegated plants. That's in terms of beauty. And of course, yung kanyang value, yung kanyang market value. So this Pinatum Aurea that we have, guys, this actually has premium variegations. And we can see here that all of its leaves, meron talaga mga variegations. And very pronounced and well distributed yung kanyang variegations. Actually, guys, sa plant market ngayon, meron ding mga maliliit pa na mga Pinatum Aurea. And they are at a much affordable price for uh, less than 1,000 pesos. But the disadvantage lang of choosing the smaller pots is that medyo matagal pa talaga silang magmature. So I've heard sharings from other plant collectors also 
na meron sila mga pinatomoria. It will really take a long time before mag fully mature yung ating mga pinatomoria. So, hindi mo siya kaagad ma-appreciate, hindi mo pa makikita kaagad yung kanya mga fenestrations o yung mga malalaking dahon kasi matagal talagang mag-mature yung ating mga dahon. So, for these two pots of Pinatum Aurea that we have here, I got them at a price of 15,000 pesos. And I already introduced here a poll para ma-supportahan natin yung growth ng ating Pinatum Aurea. So, we now have another Pinatum. And this time, this is our Epiprimnum, Pinatum Mint. So, ito guys, this is different from the Pinatum Aurea or the Pinatum Albo. And yung kanyang variegations naman, it's characterized by... This parang ano siya, parang abstract yung kanyang variegations dito and it's also well distributed. And actually I can compare yung kanyang variegation to be similar to that of mga Paraiso Verde or yung Gigantum na mga Blizzard na distributed in almost all parts of its leaves. So wala siya masyadong yung mga patches or big patches na variegations katulad ng mga Pinatum Albo or Pinatum Aurea. Ganitong ganito talaga yung kanyang klase ng kanyang variegations. And I also believe the guys na itong ating Pinatum Mint actually bago pa lang ito sa market at hindi pa siya masyadong marami sa plant market. And I was thinking of getting a bigger one as compared to this one, para ma-appreciate kaagad natin yung beauty ng ating plant with the size of its leaves and the fenestrations. But yun nga, as I've mentioned, hindi pa siya masyadong uh, distributed sa plant market. So, nahirapan ako maghanap ng mature form. And I just decided to get this smaller one instead. So, maybe I'll just post a photo of a mature form of our pinato mint so that we can appreciate more the plant. So I got our pinato mint at the price of 3,000 pesos from a local gardener lang dito sa amin. And I can also remember that when the time came na lumabas yung mga pinatom albo, I think years ago, a year, last year, it was also priced at around 3,000 pesos for the same size. Our next plant is our Singonium Frosted Heart. And siguro some of you are already familiar that I already have this Singonium Frosted Heart in my plant collection. But I was really amazed with this plant kasi ang lalaki na ng kanyang mga dahon guys. So while I was doing some plant hunting in some of the in one of the local gardens here sa Amin sa Arroqueta City, I saw this one and immediately it took my heart away. So that is why hindi ko na siya pinakawalan at kinuha ko na siya kaagad. So comparing with my old na frosted heart, medyo malaki na, na talaga yung kanyang mga dahon. So ito, I think yun, compare na natin ng ganyan. So, it already has four leaves, although meron siyang mga konting issues dito sa kanyang isang dahon. But, bawing-bawi naman sa kanyang mga panibagong dahon. So, what's really beautiful with our frosted heart is that kapag nag-mature na siya, and also if we introduce a pole here, talagang makakover niya yung pole. And, sobrang ganda at napakalash niyang tignan sa isang pot. So, our Singonium frosted heart, guys, this is actually characterized by the beautifully heart-shaped leaves. And, kinatawag siyang frosted heart kasi yung kanyang mga panibagong dahon doon natin makikita yung parang meron siyang mga traces of ice dito sa kanyang mga veins. So, I got our frosted heart at the price of 1,500 from a local garden dito sa Roqueta City. And on to our next plant and this is our Alocasia Cupria or Alocasia Red Secret. And again guys, I think you're already familiar that I already have a pot of this one. And the reason why I decided to get this one is that gusto ko na meron akong area din, same with my black velvet, na nakahilera lang yung ating mga cupria. And talagang napagkaganda din nilang tignan guys. So just take a look at the details of our alocasia cupria. Napakaganda ng kanyang mga dahon with its almost um, very dark green na mga dahon. And yung kanyang underleaf naman is, is characterized by this maroon color. So... Yung kanya mga panibagong dahon, it would come out as medyo color green pa siya. And then eventually, until mature yung ating mga dahon, nagiging dark green na siya. And what I also like about our cupria is that napakaganda talaga ng details na kanya mga dahon. With the shape of the leaves, yung kanyang veins, and then parang makakakita talaga tayo dito ng abs. So mabuti pa yung cupria guys, meron abs. Habang tayo wala, kain lang tayo ng kain. So also, I can also see a similarity to that of a turtle back. So para siyang carapace din ng turtle. So these two cupria that we have guys, these are actually imported na mga plants na. And I can still remember last year, nung naging hit din itong ating mga cupria. And I, I believe they also belong to the family of the jewel alocasias. Same with that of yung mga silver dragon or yung mga dragon scale. 
talagang medyo pricey pa ito when it came out last year. And for a pot siguro of cupria, it was priced at around 5,000 pesos to 10,000 pesos depending on the number of leaves and the quality of the plant. And for my two pots of cupria, I got this at the price of 3,000 pesos. So at this point, they are becoming more affordable na. And so, that's it for our cupria. So from one jewel alocasia, let's now proceed to another beautiful jewel alocasia. And this is our alocasia silver dragon. So just take a look at our leaves guys. Napakaganda talaga ng kanya mga details. And it's called silver dragon. Kasi yung kanyang color, it's silver. And we can also see here na para siyang dragon scale yung kanyang details na kanyang mga dahon. So as compared with our cupria or yung ating red secret alocasia, itong ating silver dragon, it has a more tough leaf. So I can actually compare it with the black velvet. Med hindi naman siya velvety talaga pero medyo makapal yung kanyang dahon and it's very sturdy. So yung ating silver dragon guys, this is another imported or tissue cultured na alocasia. I'm not sure lang if it's from Holland or from Thailand, but most probably I think this is from Holland. And if we try to look at its underside, meron din siyang kakaibang details dito na hindi natin makikita sa kanyang top portion. So dito sa kanyang underside, we'll be seeing here a pattern or outline ng kanyang veins na color brown or maroon. And I got our Silver Dragon at a price of 4,500 from Kidapawan City. And when I got my Silver Dragon guys, meron din akong bonus na kuha kasi nung niripat ko ito, I've seen na meron na siyang dalawang baby pop. So hopefully soon, lalabas na yung dalawa at ipupush niya at magkakaroon na tayo ng additional na Silver Dragon. So now let's proceed to our next plant for our plant haul. And this time, punta naman tayo sa ating mga Philodendron. And this is our Philodendron Soderoy. AFF. So, sa mga plant markets, guys, makikita natin na this is tagged as Soderoy AFF. And the meaning of AFF is Afinis. And it actually means that it really does not belong to that family. But an Afinis lang siya. So, kaya siya tinawag na AFF kasi it kind of looks like lang a Soderoy but actually it's not. So, let's just leave it to the expert na lang kung paano nila ma-identify or distinguish yung kanyang pagiging Afinis or if it really belongs to that family. Actually guys, I haven't seen an actual Philodendron Soderoy in the plant market. Yung mga Soderoy Afinis lang talaga yung nakikita ko. And to best describe our Soderoy AFF, it's also characterized by the heart-shaped na form ng kanyang mga dahon similar to that of uh, Philodendron Mame and Philodendron Plumeniae. But itong ating Soderoy AFF, Meron din siyang mga silver patterns dito sa kanyang mga dahon and we just can't see it right now dito sa ating plant na ito kasi medyo bata pa ito, medyo juvenile pa ito. Hopefully in the future kapag nag-mature na yung kanyang mga susunod na mga dahon, ma-appreciate na natin siya fully with the silver patterns. And again, comparing with our mame, kakaiba din yung kanyang shape yung anting mame kasi medyo sharp yung kanyang pagka-heart shape and yung plumenia naman. Medyo roundish yung kanyang shape ng kanyang pagka-heart. Ito naman, somewhat in between yung kanyang pagka-heart shape. So for the Soderoy AFF, compare ko yung kanyang dahon to be similar to that of Pastazanum and McDowell. So medyo soft siya and shiny. And the growth pattern also of our Soderoy AFF is pa-side siya and it's somewhat similar to Pastazanum, to Plumenia, to Mame, to Gloriosum. Hindi siya yung pahaba or yung pa vertical na growth pattern. So for our Philodendron Sodero AFF guys, I finished. I'm so lucky kasi it was given to us by my plant friend. Napakaswerte talaga natin kapag meron na tayong mga friends sa ating plant community. But actually for this size siguro, she's she's selling this one at the price of 6,000 to 8,000 pesos. So, this is our next Philodendron and this is our Philodendron Glorious and just take a look at our leaves guys. Ito guys, napakalaki na ng kanyang mga dahon. And actually, I got this one some few weeks ago. And that time, iisa pa lang yung kanyang dahon at papa unfurled pa lang yung pangalawa. So right now, lumabas na siya and we can see here na medyo bata pa yung ating dahon. Hindi pa siya nag fully mature and medyo lupaypay pa nga siya guys. Kasi mabigat na siya pero medyo soft pa siya. So hopefully, siguro a week or two from now, magpa-fully mature na yung ating dahon at magiging dark green na rin siya. So our Philodendron Glorious, this is actually a crossbreed of Melanochrysum and Gloriosum. So 
for this plan, talagang nakuha niya yung both worlds ng Milano Chrysum and Gloriosum in terms of the shape of its leaves. Crossbreed talaga siya guys kasi meron siyang similarities with the uh, Gloriosum also na pabilog na heart shape pero it's a bit narrow kasi nakakuha din siya ng jeans from the Milano Chrysum na medyo narrow. And in terms of the texture of its leaves, it's actually more on the Gloriosum side kasi medyo, medyo soft siya as compared with the Milano Chrysum na velvety. But yung kanyang growth pattern, mas nakuha niya yung pagka Milano Chrysum kasi this is a trailing type of a philodendron. So later on, kapag nag fully mature na ito at magproduce pa ng mga additional dahon, hahaba at hahaba yung ating philodendron glorious. And also guys, I actually have a smaller pot of this philodendron glorious. And it's the reason why I had the courage to propagate our smaller one because we already have a bigger philodendron glorious. At itong ating Philodendron Glorious, it really lives up to its name na Glorious kasi kapag nag-fully mature na siya at nagiging malaki na talagang nagiging Glorious na siyang tignan. And I got this one at the price of 4,000 pesos from a local gardener lang dito sa amin. And the next plant on our plant hall is another Philodendron and this is our Philodendron Plomaniae na sobrang laki ng kanyang mga dahon guys. And actually, I have two of these I purchased. I recently purchased two of these. Meron tayong dalawang pots nito, but I have a sad story. Uh, it's actually quite depressing, pero I'm just trying to mask na okay lang. Kasi nga, napakaganda din ng ating plume niya. Eh. So just recently, last week, I asked na palinisan yung aming labas ng bahay. Kasi medyo mahaba na yung mga damo dito. So ginamitan siya ng grass cutter. And what happened was that ito, isa na itong result guys. Merong mga bato na nagsisiliparan from the grass cutter, siguro natamaan habang nililinis. So ito yung nangyari, nabutas yung ating plumaniae. Nakakasad talaga. And what's worse was that, yung isang plumaniae natin, isang pot ng ating plumaniae, mas worse pa yung nangyari sa kanya kasi na sharp shoot talaga. Yung petiole, yung natamaan, talagang na sharp shoot siya guys. So, wala na, 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 na damage na yung ating plant, wala na yung kanyang dahon. But the good thing lang with that is that meron na rin siyang shoot na papalabas. So hopefully makaka-recover lang yun soon. I'm not sure lang guys ha, pero I think meron talaga akong a bit of malas na factor with my plumenyae. Every time nakukuha ako ng mga panibagong plumenyae, meron talaga mga issues na nangyayari. Katulad nung pinakaunang plumenyae na nakuha ko na sobrang natagalan siya sa kanyang delivery na umabot ng more than a week. At nung dumating na dito, meron na talagang mga dahon na nasunog. At ito naman yung nangyari sa akin panibagong plumenya ay na nagkadamit yung kanyang mga dahon at yung isa talaga talagang nabali yung kanyang petiole. So, ano pa rin tayo, laban pa rin tayo and I'll just take it as a challenge to grow this very beautiful philodendron. So, for our first plumenya, what I did was that chinap-chap ko ito and I propagated it and I sold them para makakuha tayo ng mga panibagong plumenya at a bigger size. So, ganyan lang talaga yung cycle ng ating plant journey guys. We buy some plants, we grow them, we propagate them, and then we sell them, and later on, we buy some new plants. So to describe our philodendron uh, plumenia, guys, this is characterized by the circular heart shape niya. So it's not narrow as compared with other philodendrons. Medyo mataba talaga siyang tignan. At yung kanyang tip ng kanyang dahon, di siya masyadong pointy. Our plumenia also has some silver patterns ng kanyang mga dahon. But for this particular plant, hindi siya masyadong pronounced. And I got two pots of this Plumenia from the same seller from Cagayan de Oro City and it's priced at 7,500 each pot. And on to our very last plant for our plant haul today, but definitely not the least because this is one of my most wished plant lately. And this is our Monstera Borsigiana Albo Varigata. So just take a look at our plant guys. And we have actually dedicated a video, an episode for this Monstera Borsigiana Albo at yun yung pagkuha natin ng ating Albo from the Polog City. So we have here a three leaf na Monstera Borsigiana Albo and just try to take a look at our plant guys. Napakaganda ng kanyang mga dahon. It's already mature form na with its fenestrations and we can even see here some holes na sa kanyang mga dahon. At ito, this is its newest leaf and we can see na May napakagandang patch dito ng variegation. 
if this is more than a quarter na variegation and all of its leaves makakakita talaga tayo ng mga variegations so this monstera borsigiana albo guys we have a japanese white tiger na variety so this is characterized by the parang mga tiger prints or animal prints dito sa kanya mga dahon na type of variegation as compared with the regular monstera albo na meron lang siyang mga big patches na mga variegations so for the Japanese white tiger variety of Monstera Albo, this has a more consistent variegation as compared with the regular one. So we can expect na in almost all of its leaves, mayroon talaga mga variegations and splashes such as this one. So for this Monstera Albo guys, let me just share with you also. Ito yung kanyang pinakapanibagong dahon and meron na tayo dito makikita na umbok. So I think uh, medyo buntis na itong ating Monstera Borsigiana Albo hopefully in the month of August is makalabas na itong kanyang panibagong dahon and also with its newest leaf meron na rin ditong papalabas na aerial roots so hopefully mas magiging mabilis din yung development ng ating Borsigiana Albo and I got this one at the price of 38,000 pesos and I believe guys that this Monstera Albo talaga it's worth the price because I also see some other sellers na nagbebenta nito na yung kanilang pricing is around 15,000 to 20,000 pesos per leaf and that's depending on the size and the quality of the leaves also so for this one at the price of 38,000 I think it's really worth it and in terms of the quality of the plant naman guys sobrang ganda talaga nito almost perfect yung description ko nito it just has some minor issues here but it's um, okay I think it's just negligible considering na napaka healthy pa rin ng ating plant so that's it. That would be our episode today, guys, featuring yung ating mga plants na kakakuha lang natin. And I certainly hope na nag-enjoy kayo sa ating sharing today. And before we end our video, let us do our shoutouts. Shoutout kay Ma'am Leonila Seril. Shoutout also to Francis Tandang. Shoutout na rin kay Rainin Ortiz. Hi and good day to John Ray. Hi then kay Fel Pax. Shoutout also to Estrelita Llorente. Shoutout also kay Terry Lozano. Hi and hello to Kiro Tukas. Hi then to Sosana Salcedo. Shoutout also to Alan Pedro Tejero. And shoutout na rin kay Elvis Adavan. Guys, if you happen to like our videos, please don't forget to like, share to your families, to your friends, and to your loved ones. And if you're still new sa ating channel at hindi pa nakapag-subscribe, please click on our subscribe button and click on the bell notification as well para maging updated kayo sa ating mga latest uploads. Once again, this is Betjoy, your plantito from Mindanao. Happy planting!